Hello guys. Um I hope all is well. I'm like really, really told right now. I just got through fighting with a whole bunch of bottled water. And I am driving. Um it just came from Sam's. But anyway, it's it's not about that. Okay. I want to do a really quick video. Um, I would have loved to go on live, but I have no idea how to use live. But um, what I wanted to say was, I wanted to speak really quickly about um, uh, complacency, depression, um, getting stuck. Um, I wanted to talk about that very briefly. A lot of times, um, depression or a... Uh, long period of uh, sadness can set in because we focus and we zero in so much on our particular situation and think about um, you know how bad it is or what have you um, and also a lot of it can be just regret okay well I'm really not where I thought I would be you know um, at this particular age at age 40 or age 30 or age um, 35 or whatever I figured out you know further along in my journey throughout life but I do want to say this do not abuse yourself um, for the things that you have not yet accomplished um, I think the beauty in going through the journey is recognizing that you haven't gotten where you want it to be and taking an initiative to know that it's never too late to do whatever it is that you need to do um and just just taking an initiative basically um i think that a lot of times our battle is more mental and more spiritual and more emotional it's more mental than it is physical okay physically you may not have a lot of money to do the necessary things that you would like to do but somebody who is mentally focused somebody who is um, mentally uh, aware can actually tap into can actually have the ability to, to choose and take initiative to tap into uh, their inner self their inner being a higher being or whatever uh, you identify with in order to make your life better in order to make strides to contributing towards making your life better so I hope that you know that I articulated myself well enough um, for you to you know kind of get what I'm saying and in, in layman's terms in other words do what you need to do take the ne <coughs> take the necessary steps that you need to take my sister told me something very important on yesterday. <coughs> she told me, she said, anytime you find yourself focusing on, you know, the things that you haven't accomplished, what you need to do is figure out what tools you have around you, whether that's a pen and a paper, whether that's the nearest uh, yard sale to, to, to buy, you know, um, some discounted items for your business venture that you will hope to do in the future. What are your tools that you have to use around you to contribute to making your life and your situation better? A lot of the times, unfortunately, it falls off in our plate, you know, um, what we haven't accomplished. A lot of that is just like, you know, habits. What are your habits? Are you are you building to make your life better? Are you doing? Um, are you investing in yourself? To uh, and and really, I'm gonna be honest with you, and you may not like this. There is no reason for us not to invest in ourselves in the in the uh, in the time in the decade that we live in and in the era that we live in, because you have um, so many. Um, online technological uh, advancement in our era a lot of this stuff is free for us to and you have your local library figure out ways that you can build yourself 
back up so you can start, you know, you can dig your way out of your depression, dig your way out of, of your sadness or your self-pity. Because, um, you know, everybody don't want an invitation to your pity party. And sometimes, you know, I even tell myself, you know, suck it up, you know, even though I feel like, you know, at my age, I've accomplished, you know, things that, you know, some of my peers may have not accomplished. And I feel like they've accomplished things that I haven't accomplished. But, you know, you're not in comp competition with the next person and you really competing with yourself. That's really where the biggest competition lies. But I just hope that this this video, if I figure out how to do live, then I'll do it. But if I can't, I ain't gonna worry about it. But um, I hope that this video finds you guys well and you know, invest in yourself. Invest in yourself because if you don't invest in you, how do you expect somebody else to have confidence in you? How do you expect anybody else to invest in you? If you don't invest in yourself, that's just like how I, I think I um, put a post um, on my um, author's page. How do you expect somebody else to love you and you not even willing to love you? Like you first got to be willing to take that step to love yourself before you can put that, that, that job, you know, the obligation off on anybody else. So I would say invest in yourself. And don't be afraid to do so. Even if you have to use free uh, necessary tools, whether that be to find you an online academy where they offer like free classes or what have you. Um, between Instagram, you, especially YouTube, between Instagram and, and Facebook, Twitter, and you know, all the different social media, Reddit, I mean, the, the, you know, all the social media sites and stuff. Like, not everything will be you know, good or whatever, but you, you just, you got to roll the dice. You got to roll the dice and take a chance. Take a chance on you. Okay, well, I will see you guys later. I am at home and I need to get my, you know what? I ain't gonna get this stuff out of this car. I'm gonna wait till most of get to the house and he can get this stuff out of the car. So, hey, you there you. But anyway, all right, um, well, I'll talk to y'all later, so. I hope y'all have a good day. Stay cool and stay hydrated. Okay. All right. Bye.